Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business. Hey guys, you're watching BTEX. I'm Basil, and this is my Nexus 6P running Android N. This video is all about what's new inside the update, and I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about my first impressions. Before I do, if you're not already subscribed to BTEX, subscribe. It helps us out like crazy. The more subs we have, the sooner we get cool tech in, and you get to stay on top of everything that we do. Back to Android N on the Nexus 6P. This is the first time Google's rolling this out over the air. An update for beta testers. You can sign up, it's a piece of cake if you've got an a Nexus 5X, a Nexus 6P, a Nexus 6, um, a Nexus 9, a uh, Pixel C, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. What it means is that you can try out these awesome new features and it's relatively stable from a few hours I've spent with it, which is very, very good going, more so than Android M when it was released for preview builds. Right, back to this. First up, you can now multitask in split screen mode. So if you just tap on the multitasking button, long press one of your applications that's running, drag it to the top, you can split screen work as you've been able to do on Samsung devices for a while, but now you can do it on stock Android. That's cool. Next up, if you pull down from the top, you've got your notification shade and you've got five quick, quick toggles. So quick toggles are accessible in the traditional means by double pulling down. And it's good, but that quick, quick toggle element just gives you five icons that you can tap in or out to get expanded battery information, for example, Wi-Fi control, um, or indeed flashlight support. This will be customizable as well. If you do pull down both ways, you can also see you can heavily edit your application, your quick toggles, sorry. And you've also got two full screens of quick toggles too, if you so choose to have that. Really, really advanced elements that we hope make their way through to the final build when it is released 7.0. You've also got better notifications. Now the notifications are a little bit richer in their stacked format so you can expand on them, they show a bit more information and on top of that you can reply from the notifications shade in a, again a more rich way than you could in Marshmallow. Really want to see how that translates into applications, can't wait to reply to more WhatsApps and Hangout chats and stuff like that from uh, my notification shade and have to open applications a little bit less. Next up you can also in the settings see a few display options. So first off, you can change the size of how it determines the screen is. Now that sounds a bit weird, but basically rather than control the font size, I've made all my type a little bit smaller in a more intelligent way. And it, it's a little bit more dynamic than just controlling font size. So that's cool. Don't know if that's just gonna be in the preview version, but it's sweet as I really like on my really sharp Nexus 6P having all the typography really nice and tiny, taking full advantage of that pixel perfect design display. Next up, you've also got a night mode. So it'll kind of like what iOS does, control the brightness and everything so that it works a little bit better at night and strains your eyes a little bit less. You've also got a doze mode. So doze is something that made its way in Marshmallow and it's been improved for this N, whatever it ends up being called. Um, so you'll save a little bit more battery when the screen is off. In addition to doze, you've also got data limiting. Data limiting as part of stock Android so you can have background processes watched like a hawk so you don't use too much of that precious, precious data. If you've got an Android TV, you will also be able to have picture-in-picture -picture viewing. And finally, for Android phones, you get the ability to block calls from your operating system without having to install an additional application so you can block numbers. So that's pretty much a quick run through of everything new in Android N. What do you guys think it's gonna be called? They were hinting at Nutella at the press conference, but I think that's a little bit too obvious. Maybe Nougat, maybe something else. Who knows? Long and short though, it's got some awesome, awesome features under the hood. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, click like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I said earlier, it helps us out like crazy, means we get cool stuff in earlier if we've got loads of subs and you stay on top of everything we do. Thanks for watching. Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business.